car is based on the 20, 2007. The 2007 one is based on the 1996 one. It's all like a chain. It's like all of them are holding hands, right? You create one version one year, and then you have new technologies. You have new ideas on how I'm going to redesign this, right? So the 2012 one, the 2009 version, is the predecessor of the 2012 version, because this is the current one, and that's the one that was before, right? So what he's saying is that it's better looking than its predecessor, and has a tighter, well-finished feel. It's ready for prime time. Prime time is an expression that basically means it's ready for the market, basically. It's ready for all the people, right? You know, it's not, uh, it's not in testing anymore. It's actually ready to be sold right now, right? So prime time means basically it's ready for um, the market. You can, you can also say, here's another word, right? The mainstream. And this, you know, th this word, prime time, it's used in a lot of cases. Usually it's used to talk about that, like television shows, right? Or like movies, right? When you think of here, I'll move this and you, you can see. Um, when you think of, uh, like for instance, prime time means like the slots, like, like what do you think, when do you think the most people are watching television? At, at what time during the day? Do you think, do you think it's 11 a.m.? Probably 7 p.m., right? Why? He's at 11 a.m.? Either people are at school, university, they're working, right? So the prime time for television is like 7 p.m. to like 9 p.m. When people are back from work, they're tired, and they just want to relax, right? That's when like the, that's prime time because that's when the most people are watching. That's when the entire market is basically watching TV, right? So only the best TV shows with like the best actors or the most popular actors, right? Or, or, or the biggest games, right? You know, like when the, when the, when the Giants are playing, right? In the, the, the Tokyo Giants. I don't know if you guys, are you guys Giants fans, Pharaohs fans? <laughs> Giants. Giants, right? Okay. So, so the Giants, do you think they'll be playing at 2 p.m. or 7 p.m.? Yes. 7 p.m., right? Because they have a huge fan base, right? The same thing in Seoul, right? Do you think Sony Yoshida is going to be performing at 1 o'clock in the afternoon or, or 8 p.m.? 8 p.m., right? Because they're like crazy popular, right? Mm -hmm. so, so that's what prime time is, basically. What it's saying is that this is ready to be released to everybody. Everyone should see this, because it's ready now, right? Great. So, Toru, could you read the next? Uh, can I ask? Yes, sure. sure. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's Japanese, English, or not, but uh, we use golden time instead of prime time in Japanese. Golden so time, okay. Is this, uh, it's, it's only it makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, I think if you if you told it to an English speaker, they'd understand. But it's kind of like it's not really one that we, we use. Prime time. Okay. Uh -huh. but, uh, like basically, like you know, the word prime means like number one, mm -hmm. right? Like you know, um, for instance, like if you're eating steaks, right? If you go to like an American restaurant and you're eating steaks or, or you're eating like ribs, right? If you ask for prime ribs. Prime ribs is basically the ones from like the middle of the body where it's like the best meat, right? Mm -hmm. So prime generally means the best, basically. Mm -hmm. but, but it's the same thing, right? Because golden means something that's very valuable. Mm -hmm. And gold is also technically, gold, gold is the best. Gold means you're number one, right? Not silver, not bronze. Gold means you're number one. So it's the same meaning, basically. It's just that we use prime time. So these are like little differences, okay. basically. Cool. No, 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 but that's a great example. I'm glad you brought that up. So, uh, uh, Toru, could you read the next uh, okay. paragraph? Admit electric car through high price could take some customers away. The best and the best on road of stores. They will make the DC start at 11,495 dollars. The higher capacity battery that will explain to 14 miles from about 60 uh, and 76 miles. This the standard battery also includes the price to 13,995 dollars. The command to buy a Honda CFDR 1000 R car, which is close to being a street leader facing the bike. Okay. So this, this is very, very interesting, right? So what do you know about electric cars? Are you guys familiar with electric cars or with electric? Because electric cars have become 
popular in the last five to seven years, right? So what is the one thing that people say when they're thinking of buying an electric car? You're, you're comparing it to like regular cars, right? What's the big difference other than the fact that you use electricity to run the car? What's the thing? Take a guess. Fuels. Right, it is fuel efficiency, but when you're comparing two models, and that's true, right? Electric cars are much more fuel efficient. Remember we talked about efficiency last class, right? That means for the same amount of fuel, you can go twice the distance, thrice, three times the distance maybe. But, but there's one big thing that's sort of like a problem, right? What do you think that is? Noise? No, it's not noise, but, 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 but you're getting close, right? Think about it. Slow. Think about it, you're buying something, you're making a decision. It's more expensive. Sorry, it's more expensive, it's price, right? Electric cars and electric motorcycles are pretty expensive, right? Because the technology is still really new. And any time that technology is, is, is new, like, like cars back in the 1970s, right, cost a lot more than they do now. Because now the technology is more developed. Right? The cars are made everywhere. Even India makes cars. I mean, they're terrible, but like, <laughs> you know, but even India makes cars. Like basically, in the world, there's many countries that have the ability to create cars. So we're going to study this in economics, that when something supply goes up, the price goes down, right? But right now, there's only a few companies, right, that can make reliable electric cars and motorcycles. That means the price is still really high. Because they're expensive to make as well. This technology isn't cheap, right? So this is the part of the article where the author is talking about the price point, right? So he's saying, as with electric cars, though high prices, uh, as with electric cars, though, high prices could keep some customers away, right? So some people, when they're thinking of buying a motorcycle, they're thinking, I'm going to spend maybe $5,000, $6,000. They're not ready to spend. For, for $11,400, I could buy a small car, right? I mean, that's pretty expensive, actually. That's a lot of money, right? The S and its on-road, off off-road stable mate, and on-road, off-road, the way that it's written over here, because you see it's hyphenated, right? On-road and off-road. And this is a little uncommon. You're not going to see this too much. But what this means is that these motorcycles, right, they, they can travel both on the road and also off-road. So if you take it to the countryside, right, where it's like you're traveling on dirt roads or something like that, it can still go, right? Some motorcycles are kind of, they're not meant for that. Or some cars aren't meant for like driving in the snow, right? But like big Jeeps and SUVs, those are meant to go in the snow, right? So when you say stable mate, right, So this word, right, stable. Do you guys know what it is? Stable means increasing. Sorry? Increasing. No. Uh, well, that's that's stability, and, and that is one meaning of it, right? Stable has two meanings, right? Stable means something that's very, it doesn't change much, right? That's one meaning, right? That's probably the meaning you guys know. But there's also something called a horse, horse stable, right? So basically, on farms, horses are kept in stables. It's kind of like you know the place where the horses are held. You know, like uh, when the, where they stay at night, right? Where they're kind of given food and stuff like that. That's called a horse stable. And a long time ago, you know, horse racing is is a huge sport, right? In America and in Europe, even even in Asia, even in East Asia, I think horse racing is a pretty big sport, right? So, a long time ago, farms used to produce racing horses, right? And all the horses from the same stable, they were like a team. It's, it's, like, it's like you're on the same team. Sometimes the horses are brothers and sisters, right? They come from the same mom and dad, and they're all racing horses. They're all trained to be racing horses. So over here, what it's saying is that the S and the DS, right? The S motorcycle and the DS motorcycle, right? They're the same family, right? Maybe, maybe they're created by the same um, you know, manufacturer, or they're the same line, basically. They're both electric motorcycles, right? So that's why they're calling them stable mates. It's like a long time ago, they used to, they used to use this for horses to say they're stable mates. That means that they're the same team. Or they, or they might actually be brothers, right? They, they might come from the same mom. And so they're basically raised to be racing horses, basically. Right, so that's, that's what, why they use can this term. Can yeah, can sure. Can we also use, like, we are stable? Um, or just for uh, product? 
You know, that's a good question, actually. I, I don't think so, because generally it's something used to describe, like, um, what you could say is, like, for instance, it's used in, like, sports. It's m more used in sports. Like, normally, if, if you guys work for the same company and in the same division, you would say that, oh, he's my colleague, right? Or let's say if three of you guys work in the same, or all, all of you guys, you say, he's my colleague, or he's my group member, or my team member. That's usually what people say. But stable mates, it's, it's kind of a special expression. It basically means team member, right? Because these two are basically the same family. They're the same type. Maybe, you know, this one's a slightly higher model, right? Or then this one is like a more luxurious model, maybe a little bit more expensive, right? Maybe this one's the two-seater version. And maybe this one only has one seat, right? Does that make sense? Yeah. So they're like the same. It's like they're the same family, basically. But, but, but that's a good point. Sometimes it's used in sports. Like, like you, know, you know, pitchers, right, in baseball, right? Mm -hmm. If they're in the same team, in the same rotation, sometimes they say, oh, yeah, those guys are stable mates, you know, or, or something like that. Or sometimes it's used in, uh, in martial arts, actually, right? Like, for instance, uh, if you have a group of guys who are all in the same gym, right? Uh, like if they're if they're in judo or karate or like you know in martial arts and boxing, right? Sometimes they refuse to fight each other because they say he's my stable mate. What he means by that is he's like my brother. I can't fight him. They say. I, I, I refuse to fight him. So that's a, that's where like sometimes that's where the word sometimes they, they use that that they're they're the same stable mate. So this is this is something this is an expression you won't see too often, but basically when you see it, I want you to remember that it means that they belong to the same team, basically, but to the same team. Team or line, right? That's what, I, that's what I want you to remember when you guys see this, right? It's not something, once again, this is an example of something that's not too commonly used. It's very situational, right? But it's still good for you guys to know at this point. So what he's saying is that the S and its on-road, on off-road stable mate, the DS, start at 11,495. So that's a pretty high price, as we've mentioned, right? The higher capacity battery, and you know, higher capacity battery means that it can hold more charge, right? Like you know, the capacity of any battery, right? So like, um, for instance, like a regular like AAA battery, like you know, the really thin batteries, they're a lower capacity than the big fat ones, right? So you can't use some some machines, right? Like a long time ago, you know, when you had the big Boom boxes, you know, you know, you guys had uh, the big like sound machines, basically, you know, the big CD players with the big speakers and stuff. You know, those used to run on those big like single A batteries, right? The big fat batteries. The, those are the only types of batteries that could run them. And you can see people walking around with them on the street. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, if you see like movies from the 80s, you'll see that there's like scenes of guys like walking on the street playing loud music, right? So the thing is, those big batteries hold more charge. Their capacity is higher. And capacity is a word that's used, that can be used for a lot of things, right? You know, like um, a water tank that holds 80 liters of water and another tank that holds 120 liters of water. Which one has higher capacity? Quinn? Which one is higher capacity? 120 or 80? 120, right? Because you can put more water in it. So its capacity is basically its ability to hold something. Right? You could say that someone could even ask you at work, right? We have a new project coming up. Do you have any capacity? Right? That basically means, do you think that the time that you spend at work, can you, can you handle another project? Right? Someone could say that. So capacity is a word that's used very, very often in a lot of different situations. And over here, they're talking specifically about the battery. Right? They're saying that the S has a higher capacity battery. Right? Than, some, than the DS, I believe, right? The higher capacity battery that boosts range to 114 miles from, from about 76 miles with the standard battery also increases the price to 13,995. 13, so, you know, anytime you're trying to buy a car, right? So if you guys have ever tried to buy a car, right? You know, they could say, okay, this is the standard version, right? So this is what you get. You, know, you get a certain type of leather interior, you get a certain type of sound system, right? But they're saying if you spend maybe $3,000 more, you can get the luxury leather, and you can get the really nice sound system where you can hook your iPod up directly to it, right? So what they're saying is that the higher capacity battery increases the price, right? The standard battery, when, you, when it's fully charged, you can drive 76 miles. But the higher capacity battery lets you go 114 miles. 
So let's say if you want to drive to central New Jersey from New York, you can do it with a higher capacity battery. Uh, but you can't really do it with a standard battery, you know, because it doesn't let you go that far before you need to charge it, right? But obviously, it increases the price significantly, almost, what is this, two and a half, like $2,500, right? So he's saying that amount 